Hi everyone, I'm Lorelai from Birchbox, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get a feathered brow. Feathering your brow sounds complicated, but it's actually a very easy way and natural way to fill in your brows to just give them a little bit of fullness, a little bit of natural feathering on the hairs. So I am using products by Zoe Van Jones. She is a brow expert based in California and a makeup artist, and feathered soft brows are really her trademark. I love the products, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about them and some tips that we got from Zoe herself. If you're fair or don't have a really defined brow to begin with, Filling them in is gonna be the fastest way to look really polished and make it look like you're almost wearing a little bit more makeup than you are. So it's a very fast way to get ready in the morning just by filling in your brows. You can use a brow pencil or a brow powder, or if you want, you can use both. I'm gonna use a brow powder today. If you prefer pencils, they are also really easy to use. You just wanna make sure that it's sharpened so that it has a really nice fine tip and that you are gonna use really nice short feathery strokes. As I said, I'm gonna use a powder today and I really love this one because it comes with two shades so you can kind of give your brow a nice natural gradient as it naturally grows. You have a couple of different shades in there. This is the sandy shade and it's a really nice ash blonde color. It can be hard to find something that's uh, perfect for really light brows because sometimes they're a little too red or a little too brown. Um, and this is a really nice option if you have blonder hair like me. So to start, I'm gonna use my angled brush and pick up some of the darker color here. And something that is pretty unique to Zoe is that she recommends starting filling in your brow in the middle, right at your arch. And she says you should do that because where you start filling in your brow is typically the darkest. That's where you put most of the concentration of powder. And in a natural brow, your arch tends to be a little bit darker than the front area. So it just gives you a nice natural gradient. I'm gonna start near my arch with really light strokes and just sort of work the brush back and forth, filling in the tail section first. And then once you fill in the end, you can work back towards the center of your eye. And you can use the lighter color closer to the bridge of your nose because that's gonna naturally look a little bit lighter. So especially in the front here, you can really use some upward strokes. Turn the brush so that the angle is facing up and then you can do nice light strokes just upwards. Just brush through that lightly upwards and it takes out some of the powder and some of the harshness of the lines. All right, once you have filled in your brows with the powder or the pencil and you've sort of brushed through with the spoolie to get that nice feathery effect, the last step is a touch of gel. This is the blonde color by Zoe Van Jones. It also comes in a clear gel, which is really nice if you already have very full brows and you don't need any more color or if you just feel like you have the perfect color for your brow already. The gel is really great because it's gonna give you a little bit of hold throughout the day. It's gonna give you a little bit more color, make them look a little bit more full if you have thin brows like I do. And you're gonna use the same motion, those upward soft feathery strokes to really enhance that natural shape. Okay, that is my feathered brow look. This is something that if you get the hang of it, you can do it within a few minutes before you run out the door in the morning. And it really does make a big difference in your whole look. It really brightens up your face, makes your eyes look better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have questions about brows or Zoe Van Jones or any of her products. And I will see you soon. And please like, comment, and share if you like this video. Bye.